I'm Natalie Chung and I'm a civil engineer. I graduated from the University of Manchester and now I work in London in the railways industry. So I'm standing here in the Institution of Civil Engineers in their ICE 200 exhibition. In this zone, the Connected Communities Zone, it's all about how different projects that have connected communities around the world. So I want to talk to you about a project which I'm fascinated by and it has a tremendous impact as it spanned an entire continent. And the project is the Cape to Cairo Railway Project. This was a huge railway project that spanned from the north of Africa right down to the Cape Town southern tip. The first section from Egypt to Zimbabwe was over 1,300 miles long and it continued down but it had faced some issues due to wars and also rivers that it had to cross. The surveyors planned a new route in 1905 that would go by the Victoria Falls. The Victoria Falls is a huge waterfall, one of the largest in the world that um, is on the Zimbezi River. So this is the river between Zambia and Zimbabwe. To allow trains to cross the river, civil engineers designed the Victoria Falls Bridge. It was just south of the Victoria Falls and it was close enough for you to feel the spray of the waterfall on your face. Now I actually went to Victoria Falls Bridge last year during a period of volunteering in Zambia and it wasn't so much of a spray but more of a swim. It was rainy season and the bridge was so close to the waterfall that you felt like you were in a cloud. The Victoria Falls Bridge was 128 meters above the river. At the time they opened it was the highest bridge in the world and by 1908, three years after its opening, it was carrying 200,000 passengers a year. So much of the railway is still used today. There are small parts which were never completed. There was never a railway in South Sudan, and some of it is served by a ferry rather than a train. But 140 years later, people are still using the trains that were built in the 1870s. Transport infrastructure is really crucial for countries and continents to develop their economy. As a civil engineer, you can work on huge projects like this that will still be running in 200 years' time. What I really love about railways, especially in London, is that everyone uses them. Whether you're a granny or a newborn baby, everyone has been on a train. Isn't it great to work on a project where you can go home to your family and say, hey, I built the railway today?